promise with your Pittsburgh Steelers look. So, this is the look I'm going to show you today. It has yellow glitter, black glitter, and a tad bit of white glitter in the corners. So, um, I hope you guys like it. If you want to know how I got this look, then stay tuned. Okay, so I already primed my lid using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. I also use NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk just on the lid, not going above the crease. Next, I'm going to take a small eyeshadow brush. Working again from the 120 palette to make it easy. I use the matte yellow. And I'm just going to pack that on to my bottom lid. Just pack it on, pack it on. Oh yeah, once again, it's nighttime again, so. I don't know if y'all can see my lip. Oh, no, y'all can't see my lip. But, just gonna pack this on like this. To get the color payoff that you're looking for. You're gonna go ahead and take a black eyeliner. I'm just using the auto eyeliner. Cut the crease, keeping it similar to the Packers theme. Just like that. Then you want to take a synthetic angle brush like this and you want to take the matte black from the 120 palette, the one all the way in the corner. I'm using my 120 palette a lot lately. You no, know, it's just like my go-to thing now. So then you want to trace over the eyeliner you just um, drew on, like so. Then, once again, same concept. You want to blend up, just flick the color up, like that. Then you want to take a um a kind of like a crease brush that's not as um fluffy as this one yet but this is the sonia cash workout sonia cash shook brush i always use with the small eyeshadow brush on one end then it has like a they're both retractable it has like a small crease brush on the other end take a little bit of black put it on there and start to blend your black up just using windshield wiper motions like this. Once it gets the blending effect going, the next thing I like to do, like I say, this uh, this is the way I do it. I take a fluffy eyeshadow brush, go into your 120 palette. I know for the Packers theme, I use the the Mac pigment, but I'm gonna just, I mean the Mac eyeshadow, but I'm gonna just stick with the 120 palette. And work with this matte white because I'm not looking for a big big color payoff so I'm gonna go ahead and work with that go ahead and put that on your brow bone for your highlight and start blending it down into the black Just sweeping it down like so. Did in the other one, I take the remaining what's on the brush and just sweep it right here down by the bridge of my nose to blend the edges out like so. Like that. That was super simple. Then the next thing I want to do is get my yellow eyeliner that I use for the Green Bay Packers and put that on top of the yellow eyeshadow my yellow glitter my leashy glitter and my craft store brush I got from Michaels and start packing the glitter on to the lid right on top of the yellow eyeliner you just put if you can see that okay 
now that you have done that on this one i kept this really fun i even put black glitter on the black eyeshadow i have another leashy glitter which is black and i actually on this one i use i have this dark colored um nyx lip gloss it don't even have a name on it but it's like super dark it's almost it looked black it's like a black lip gloss and just take the old brush get you some lip gloss on it pick up some of your black glitter not too much and you're gonna place that right in the corner like so like this and just it's just like blending eyeshadow and you're just gonna blend it up going towards the bridge of your nose just keep patting don't rub just pat i hope you guys can see this next thing i'm gonna do is take my a white eyeliner or your jumbo pencil i use my jumbo pencil and put that on my waterline like so and then y'all gotta keep looking over here to see what i did i'm gonna tell you guys what i used to get the stars in a few seconds as soon as i figure out what's going on over here oh take a black eyeliner you can use the same eyeliner you used to cut the crease and go on your lash line underneath the white eyeliner um let's see what did i do next oh right here uh i actually extended the eyeliner a little bit i rounded it out in the corner right here just like that i took um some matte white that i used to do the highlight and i just placed it right here in the corner right there it's my white eyeliner and just put a little dab right here in the corner like so you can see that just a little dab I know my lights kind of bright pick up a little bit of the glitter put it right there just dab it in the corner like so next thing you want to do is get your black eyeliner whatever you choose to use gel liner um but not a pencil i wouldn't recommend a pencil on top of this glitter and just line your eye like you normally would whatever mascara it is you use like i said in the last video i use the same big great last mascara because i don't have no eyelashes as you can see put me a little mascara on just a little bit then i'm gonna take my lashes the ones like the number 15s and i'm gonna apply those While my eyelashes drying i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what i used to create my stars just like on the helmet i use actually this yellow um neon yellow um eyeliner then i put uh the matte yellow eyeshadow on top of it and I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but I even put glitter on it. I put the yellow glitter on it. For the red one, I just used the red um, lip liner. Drew the star. Put some matte red eyeshadow on it from the 120 palette. And put some red glitter on top of it. Like this. And for the blue one, I didn't have any blue glitter. So, I just went ahead and... Um, drew the star with the blue eyeliner pencil and took a really shimmery blue the one right here from the 120 palette and I put it on top to create my stars 
And um, I didn't know how long this video was going to be, so I actually already did the rest of my face. So while my eyelash is drying, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I used. I used this LA Colors Blush in Toast. And on my lips, I conditioned them with the Neosporin Lip Health. And just put my Lady Gaga lip gloss on top of it. So yeah, that's really all I did. This look was already kind of over the top, so I didn't do much. Okay, so this is the finished look right here. I don't know, I think it's really fun. I got a chance in this series to play around with some yellow glitter and some black glitter, which is something that I normally don't do, but I have a lot of glitters. But I just really had fun um, playing around with the eyeshadows. And I hope you still are fans find this to be something that you can wear to represent your team at the Super Bowl party or maybe if you made that trip to Dallas and be in the snow. But I thought this was really fun. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe because it's free. And like I mentioned in the com I mean in the description box in my green bay packers video my first giveaway is coming next week so don't miss out on that and i give away some good prizes guys enjoy the super bowl oh, it's in texas the super bowl is in texas i'm so excited because i live in houston and i know one time we had the super bowl here which was a few years back so i'm just excited that the super bowl is even coming back to texas so See you next time, guys. Bye.